never does. Welcome everybody to today's first semi-final elimination final between the Glenorchy Stags versus the Hobart Hutchins Rugby Club. Uh, it's elimination final today. It's, it's uh, wet weather, so let's see some uh, some big stuff from the forwards here. For the Hobart team today, we have number one Andrew Krupp, number two Lewis Duckett, number three Leon Tom Thompson, uh, number four Robbie Casbolt, who will be wearing. Well, they've all got different numbers on. Uh, Will Weedman's wearing number 27. He's in the second row. Brendan Elliott's number seven. Jonathan Elliott's got number eight on at open side flanker. Number eight is Richard Miller. He'll have number four on. Number nine is Jack Weeding. Number 10 is William Edwards. Number 14 is Ian Clack. Number 12 is Aaron Talbot wearing number 20. Blaine Douse is wearing number 30. Callum Kratz is wearing number five. William Crack Clack is wearing, <laughs> William, sorry about that. <laughs> William Clack is wearing number 15. Number reserve, first reserve number wearing number six is Morgan Macbeth. Number 17 wearing number two is Aleem Kalet, Calfan. Number 18 wearing 25 is Jarkus the Jagger. Number 19 wearing 16 is Isaac Nugent. Number 20 wearing 28 is Zane Eid. Number 21 wearing one is Martin Scott Skokes. Sorry, Martin, I don't know how to say your last name. Uh, number 29 is Ashen Rodrigo and Thanks Mitchell Ryan down. Boots is wearing number 11. That's the Hobart side. Uh, for our officials in the middle, we have the ever-aging Jimmy Ogden, who's in control. On the on one touch judge, we have Michael Evans, and on the other touch judge, we have Adam Brancher. For the Glenorchy team, for the Glenorchy team, uh, number one is Jai Terry. Number 24 on hooker is the Jumbo Hart. Wearing number 22 at tight head prop is Sia Tulava. Number four is Chase Scott. Number six, sorry, number five is Chase Scott. Number four is uh, Chris Russell. Number six is Matty Bresnan. Number seven is Mickey Lovell. Number eight is Sam Pluck. Number nine, number nine is uh, Howie. Number 10 is Harry Thomas. Wearing 18 at blindside wing is Baden Maynard. Number 12 is Poda. Number 13 is Aaron Lovell. Number 11 is Taki Skreptos. Number 15 is uh, Kai Searle. 16 is Lewis Thomas, Jesse Hasty, Baha, uh, Brady Belantra, Corey, Jimmy, and Taylor are, are the other reserves for the Milky side. Kick off was taken by Glenorchy, uh, kicked off by Glenorchy and taken by Hobart, and they've kicked it away in the blindside winger with Glenorchy attacking now about 38 metres out. It's wet weather football, so we'll probably see some nice, lots of work like this pick and drive here by Sia Tulava. The defensive line of Hobart needs to be nice and quick, and there's another good busting run by Chris Russell. And the referee's got advantage out for, for, the, for the Stags with entry from the Hobart side where they should be coming in square. First decision, 28 metres out, almost directly in front, and Glenorchy is going to take the shot at goal. So earlier today, they had, the women had their sevens tournament, and I think it was a grand final today. And it was the last game was between the Queen Bees, as in Harlequins, and the Taruni Uni side. And I think the Taruni Uni side got up in a close, hard-fought game. So well done, girls, to each and every one of us. It's good to see ladies out uh, playing the sport we all love. So Mickey Lovell's first shot at goal, almost directly in front. And he's missed to the right. So here we go. First miss of the day. Shouldn't say first miss of the day. He's missed that one. So here we go. Back for a 22.
and it's a long kick and it's taken on the 40 metre line. With a return kick and the fullback's taken on the full and a great missed tackle there, a great tackle by the number eight from Wilkie. Nice kick there by the 5 8 down in the corner. With a nice turn, return back. He's outside the 22, and the fullback from Hobart's missed it. And there's a knock on. So, first scrum. First scrum will be packed 22 metres out, about 10 metres in from touch. This has been Harlequin's, sorry, Hobart's bread and butter all year. They've been demolishing teams with their set piece. So, let's see what Glenorchy's done with their work during the week to see if they can nullify this awesome eight from Hobart. They can hold their own here. They're, they're uh, a step closer to where they want to be for next week. Jimmy Obdam sets it, has control. And in the ball goes in by the Rocky halfback. Scrum's gone 90, so let's reset it. This is a fabulous part of the game, the scrummaging. Jimmy Ogden taking control of the scrum. She's got control. Halfback Howie Highland for Glenorchy. And that's a, that's a win from Glenorchy. Picked up by the number eight. And he's offloaded to the trailing halfback in Howie Highland. Glenorchy on the attack. Pick and drive here by the Stags. Ball off. And a good ball. And a good, good back line move there with a pass, cut pass out to the outside centre. And he's given it to the winger, Taki Skreptos, who's tackled five metres out from touch. Line out ball, line out ball for Hobart on their own defensive line out, five metres out. This is another set piece that Hobart have been very good at and demolishing teams all year. Let's see what the Stags have got. That's a five-man line out. Yes, line out one and a drive. Pass back to the and a pass back to the five-eight. Sorry, the outside centre in Blaine, and he's put it out there probably about ten or twelve metres out from touch with the Glenorchy throw in. Let's see Glenorchy's response in their line out. Won the ball, but it's landed on the ground and Hobart have won it. Ruck 10 metres out. They look pick and drive by Hobart. They try to pick and drive, but they've been nailed very close. Glenorchy offside. Uh, no high tackle by the number five in Chase Scott. Five metres. Penalty down. Kick for touch by, by Blaine. And it's around about the 22 metre mark. 20, 25, 26 metres out. So line it outside the, the 22. Uh, it's not allowed to be passed back in now to be to be kicked out. If it does, it's got to be it's got to bounce out. One and taken by Hobart, the number eight in the line out. Midfield kick. And it's gone and it's hit the deck, but blindside winger Baden's got it. 
and he's offloaded to the trailing fullback in Kai Searle and a great tackle by the by the blindside winger from Hobart. Taken forward by Sia Tualaba. Ruck centre field, 40 metres out, off to the... Taken by the captain. Penalty, penalty there for not staying on their feet, Brunorki. A little bit harsh, there was no defenders there. And he's gone through the, through the mall. Let's get it back. Let's hope he's consistent in that on both sides. The rain's started. Kick off and it's still going. 10 or 12 metres in. straight by the throw from Hobart. So Glenorchy are going to elect to take the scrum. 35 metres out, 15 metres in. Time. Like that's a better scrum. I think it's a wheel. They are very lucky there. That's a call. They're wheeling the scrum. And a midfield, oh, it's a bounce. Bad luck for the, for the lucky bounce for Hobart. The fullback and the outside centre were towering through from Gronke and the bounce didn't favour them. Taken in by the, the outside centre from Hobart and they passed the ball on. Brendan Elliott, he's been held up here in this tackle. Now he's gone to his knee. It must be, tacklers must release now. Kick in there from the Hobart. Kick is in. Hobart in front of the kicker. Mind you, there should have been an advantage there for a scrum or a, or a kick. 48 metres out, 7 metres in. Glock get the penalty. Yep. Nicely taken there. 30 metres out, Gronkie attacking, line out to the Stags. And line out one by Hobart. And he's knocked that ball forward. That's a bit of a mess. I don't know what it is there. The referee's blown his whistle. And a high tackle from the outside centre. Aaron Lovell for Glenorchy. The rain keeps tumbling. I've got the best job today, don't I? I've got my jacket on. You've got one of the latest. I'm pretty good now. Thank you. 
Nice kick for Tuts there. They've made about 25 metres there. Line it, line it here to Hobart. And uh, it's an elimination final here. And you kick the ball out, you've got to go and retrieve it. So there's a bit of lulling play here for a second. So the score's still new all here. Been roughly played for 22 to 22. Wet weather footy. And Hobart have the ball. Well and stolen by Bernorke. And I'm not a knock on there by Black. So it'll be scrum down 15 metres in for Hobart ball. Let's see what they do with this scrum, whether they reel it or whether they keep it straight. Let's see what Bernorke's got on a defensive scrum. That's a good scrum. And it goes to the outside and a crash ball. Crash ball by the outside centre. Good tackle by the captain and Mickey Lovell. And a pass from that to the 5-8 to the centre again. The Hobart have lost a bit of ground on that by the ball, but they still recycle the ball. So a good ball. One of the 5-8 under the outside centre. Two twists. And then tackled by Sia to Alava, taking the ground. And again, we go again. Oh. Well sealed by Hobart here, they're under pressure, and here they are, they put a kick away. Playing kick for kick here, and there's a chip kick here to Mickey Lovell, and the fullback has missed the tackle. And he's carving the ball back strong. He's got back to the halfway line. And Lovell charges on and makes five or six metres. That's a great, great carry. Recycle by Gronky, pick and gone on his own. Chase got number four through the guts. Offload of the ball. Advantage there to Glenorchy. Sorry, advantage there to Hobart. Knocked on by Black. Scrum down. 40 metres out defensive end for Hobart. The rain keeps coming down from the skies. We need it. I've been saying for years, I wish they'd make the touch judges and referees out of glass so we could see through them. It's gone 40 metres out, Hobart ball. Uh, the 5 8 deep, and the ball is won by Hobart. And it's a good scrum, it's a good defensive scrum by Glenorchy. They put a bit of pressure on today. This is good work. I don't think Hobart's had pressure like this for the whole season. Um, they've recycled the ball. Pick and drive by Hobart, They're trying to get, your, get themselves a little bit of room to start working. That's a good pick and drive, five metres there by the blind side flanker and an offload. Good pass by the halfback and that Hobart have now made 10 metres from the breakdown. Cover, cover, Poda, cover. Pick and drive again by the, by the number eight in Hobart and now by the number seven. Yep. It's playing eight man rugby at the moment, Hobart, which is good work. They're just chipping away and chipping away. Not trying to rush things, just making sure things are right, getting their leg drive going. Now we go, here we go. Half back to the 5'8 on the halfway line. Passes back to the centre, out to the outside centre. Yep, it's good work. 
It's good off road again and again. And that's a great tackle by the fullback. And by the hooker in Jumbo Hart. Line out here, black ball. About 30 metres out. Defensive end by Glenorchy. Line out taken by, by Glenorchy. Off to Harrison Thomas. Nice big kick. Nice long kick. New clack. Passes to, passes to his brother. And a great... And it's knocked on by Glenorchy now. Playing advantage here. No advantage. So knock on by Glenorchy here. 40 metres out from a couple of kicking jewels there. And knocked on there with no communication by the two Glenorchy players. Hobart won the ball but then offloaded and a Glenorchy player intercepted. So... We have a scrum down, 38 metres out. Uh, Hobart attacking with a Hobart scrum. Hobart got a nice deep back line. Glorky need to be on their toes here. They love, they love offloading, whether it's wet weather or dry. They love playing running rugby. Inside centre, inside pass to the inside centre who crashes the ball. Great tackle there by the number 10 and 12. So no advantage there. Get going, Aaron. Good work, brother. Thanks, Robbie. You just fired up your worst nightmare. He probably scored now, thanks to you, Robbie. Put it down to 17. So a knock on there by Hobart, and then another knock on by Glenorchy. So no advantage. Scrum down. 40 metres defending end from uh, from Glenorchy. They put in. Settle into a bit of a pace here. Let's see what we can do. See what they can do with their scrummage and wise. And it's a nice scrum again. How about putting a bit of pressure on? Great work, Pop. They've kept that in. It was very, very close to the sideline. Nice ball. Hits the deck, it might skid, and it has. Oh. Uh, knock on there by the fullback. Unlucky bounce, set up for him, but because he was moving so quick, cross around the balls, but he's knocked it on. That's good meterage by the Stags. Nice, good, nice long kick from the son of a legend, Harry Thomas. Playing well at 5 8 today. Look, you need to stay switched on here with the scrum. Hobart put a little bit back on them just then. So they need to go back to the start of where they were at the start of the game. Switch on. Each of them think of their jobs to do. Nice deep back line from Gronky. Now he's given the ball off to Poda. Poda comes back towards the scrum. Great tackle by the by the six, and a pick and drive by Glenorchy. They run the ball, they're 10 metres out. Harry Holland, pass on to Sia Tuolaba. He pounds the forwards, stays on his feet, off to Harrison Thomas, cuts it back in towards his forwards. Recycled, well recycled, great defence by Hobart. Harry Holland, off to Mickey Lovell, off to Jumble Hart. Hoda goes back in with good footwork. Off to Aaron Lovell. Aaron Love was going for the corner and he's. And try in the corner by Aaron Lovell. Glenorchy open up. Glenorchy open up, scoring. With good work, running sideways, but offloading the ball and good strength by Aaron Lovell to score in the corner. Hey! Beautiful kick. Keep it going, boys. 
Jamie, call him in, keep him going. Ocha, see ya, Howie. Matt, Dundon, keep going, get him in, talk. Going really well, really good. So the shot from the, almost from the side on here by Captain Mickey Lovell, who's got on the bald haircut today for today's event. I think he said it's trying to make him run faster, but I'm not quite sure whether that's true. And a shot by Mickey Lovell, and he's hit the pulse. And a swigger shot off the left hand upright and gone across the bar. Glonky leads 7 0. I think it's about 25 minutes in to the game. I'll just try and find out uh, how long we've been going. 23 minutes. 23 minutes in. Glonky leads 7 0. And the rain has sort of stopped at the moment, so which is good. Now Hobart to kick off. Blaine Douse with a drop kick and he's gone long to the corner and Glenorchy have let it bounce. Taken by number five Chase Scott and he's punched it down long ways and it's almost back to the 22. And it's a midfield bomb. Knocked back by Jumble Hart off the Taki Skreptos who's put a mid midfield bomb in. And they've let it bounce. It's towed through by Taki Skreptos. And try. It's not a water jet, but it's a try by Aaron Lovell. Well, that's a comedy act. Everybody's had a kick. Everybody's let it bounce. Everybody's wanted to pass it and shovel it on. And in the end, Aaron Lovell scores his second try in the space of three minutes. Rocky leads 12 0 with a much easier kick by from Michael Lovell. About seven or eight metres in from the left hand upright. Let's see what he can do here. And he's, well, he's hit the upright on the other side this time and the ball's bounced out. So Glenorchy have take Glenorchy go further ahead, 12 nil. Talking too much, eh? Sorry for that sound, if you hear that, I'm just having a drink of water, I'm dry. So Glenorchy have taken the lead, 12 nil. About 27 minutes in, 30 minutes to go. Blaine Douse kicks it off again. Harrison Thomas kicks, takes the kick and punches it down. Nice and low and the ball's running. Will Clack takes it inside the 22 and decides to run. And Will Clack's got back to the 10 metre line, which is a great tackle by the captain, Mickey Lovell. And a nice, secure, clean ball by Hobart. Halfback back to the 5'8". Punches through again. And Glenorchy, too quick off the mark, all offside. Work hard, boys, come on, work hard. Mickey, all offside there, Glenorchy, so. Need to watch that, discipline. Blaine Douse for the kick for touch. 
about 52 metres out. And he's dropped her about 35, 36 metres out, I reckon. So line out, set there by touch those Blanc 11s. And Line out here, 38 metres out. Five, Hobart have gone to a five-man line out all day and won all their balls, so that's well done. Five-eight to inside centre to Vic, to, and another high tackle by Glenorchy. They need to start getting him down. Too many coming through in high tackles. So same again. Hobart just chipping away. Glenorchy's ill discipline is marching him up the paddock. So they're about 20, 22 metres out. Hobart ball. And line out one again. And taken by number seven, Brendan Elliott, who turns and charges at their goal line. And turned over. Well taken by the number eight, Sammy Cluck, who puts in a bomb, not a bomb, a kick, and it takes a sideways bounce and goes out on the 40 metre line. Great work by the Norky boys. Wish they'd make the touch is out of glass so we can see. Another line out by Hobart overthrown and the balls hit the deck and a knock on by the by the Hobart boys. The Rocky retained the ball. Pick pick by Jai Cherry. Big bustling prop. Not, well that's another penalty to another penalty to Glenorchy, uh, to Hobart for not releasing. Just got caught on the wrong side. He's got to learn to turn his body. Good work by the Hobart. Front row there. Getting on him straight away as soon as he hit the deck. Playing Douse with a nice long kick this time. He's made 35 metres there with that kick. That's a beautiful kick to the sideline. Let's see what Hobart's got this time. Ball to the front, taken again, bang. Plain advantage, plain advantage for the Hobart team for the number five for offside. Half pack to 5'8, nice kick into the, into the 22. Lonky, you've got to stop giving away penalties. That one for the number five at the line out gone through the line before the ball left the line of touch. Your discipline's costing the Lorkey territory. That's a punishing kick. Five metres out, he's landed that two metres from the side line, from the touch try line, but they've got to bring it back. They've got to bring it back and Hobart make their first change. And onto the field came comes Alim. And off off comes I can't see his number so I don't know who it is. And well taken by the number seven. And he's charged towards the try line for Glenorchy. Hobart on the attack, a metre, metre or two out. Hobart, pick and drive. Let's see what Glenorchy's got. Good pressure. Good, good defence. Nice work. Pick and drive again by Hobart. This is what I love. Seven forward rugby. Hobart bloke's been held up and he's been ripped. 
So knocked forward by Hobart into Glenorchy. So I think it's a scrum down to... I'm not sure who the food is for. Can't see. Been a knock four there by Glenorchy. It's a Hobart, Hobart feed, 10 metres out, and the scrum's gone down. So on to the field went into Alim Kalfan, and off comes number 23, Mitchell Ryan Boots. So Hobart have made that first change probably a bit after half an hour into the game. Win the ball and a great tackle by the outside tenor and love it and drives drives the inside tenor back. And ill discipline again by Glenorchy there by the number 13. It's in a ruck, you've got to leave the ball alone. And the captain Jonathan Elliott's decided for Hobart that they've been handy and they need some points. So they're 25 metres out directly in front. And on upsets, sorry, 22 metres out directly in front. And in steps Ian Clack to take the penalty shot at goal. The rain has, has subsided here at Rugby Park. Umbrellas are down. And up steps Ian Cuck to take his first shot at goal. And straight out of the black dot. So Hobart on the board. Score is 12-3. Thirty-five minutes. Thirty-five minutes in. Five minutes to go for until half time. Okay. Glenorchy to Glenorchy to kick off. Glenorchy to kick off. Captain Michael Lovell. Let's see what what we can do here. And he's kicked deep into the corners, and they've let it bounce. And in number eight, Jonathan Elliott carts it back to the 22. Good defence by Michael Lovell again. Recycle, good recycle ball by Hobart. Deep to the 5'8", he takes a kick outside the 22. Pick it up, Pick it up, Pick it up, And a nice kick there by the 5'8". And the blindside winger in Baden Maynard juggles it. And knocks it forward, so it's a scrum down to Hobart on the halfway line. About seven or eight metres in from touch. Good drive there by Glenorchy. And a knock on there by, knock on there by Hobart. So a knock on there by the blindside flanker for Hobart. 50 metres out, or halfway line I should say, not 50 metres out. There's 50 metres out each way. Ah, oh, what a dick. Seven metres in from touch, Glenorchy ball. Three or four minutes to go before half time. 
Let's see what we got. The rain has stopped, so we might see a bit more ball in hand. Harry Holland put the ball in. Nice strike by Jumbo Hart. Off to the 5'8", Harrison Thomas. Hard running centre, and Aaron Lovell makes six, seven, eight, ten metres there. Great work, recycled ball for Wagamorki. Hobart set that back line. See you to a lava. Turn over. Offload. Juggle ball by. And dives on by Alain Pelin. Dive for the Hobart. Glonky just pushing the pass. Just pushing the pass. It should be retaining it. And. Off ball, the number six. Pick and picked up by the Hobart on a turnover ball. Kick over the top by Jumble Hart. And Sammy Clark's come through. And I'm a little bit stuck with people in the road there. Picked up by Sia Tualava. Glonky seven or eight metres out. Turnover ball by Glonky. On the Glonky's on the attack. Of the jumble heart goes to ground. Pick well stolen by the number seven in uh, number seven in Hobart. Great defence by Glenorchy, seven or eight metres out. Glenorchy offside of the offside offside out wide by the. Blokes keen to run down the bloke he's kicking the ball. No. Target somebody else. Lane Douse to kick the touch. And the ball's taken on the half throw on by Hobart. Well taken. Fullback, fullback in. Fullback cuts the ball to the centre. Pick and drive by Glenorchy here. I see a tool lava. Good clean out there by Jumble Hart. Ball taken. Ball set up. Great defence there by the hooker. And it's a mid, it's a bomb, it's a bomb, and he spilled it, and it's taken back by Hobart, so this will be a five metre scrum, five metre scrum to Glenlochy, five metres out. Five metre scrum, Hobart boys need to stay strong. Set piece here, seven metres out, Glenorchy ball, five metres out, sorry, five metres scrum. Glenorchy ball, let's see what the stairs can put on here. Let's see the defence of the Hobart. Hobart need to be disciplined. Hobart need to be disciplined, Glenorchy need to be structured. And a good drive there by Hobart, picked up by the halfback. And tackled by the tackled by that Glenorchy player outside. And Marcus. Good set piece set up there by Aaron Lovell. He missed a missed a chance, had a two-man overlap and held the ball, but kept his feet. Got a couple more metres, recycled the ball. Howie Holland picks the ball up from the back of the ruck and passes it to the blindside ringer who is very strong and scores in the corner. Lenorchy, they're further ahead, 17 to 3. 
Seven metres in from touch, 22 metres out. Michael Lovell attempting to convert the drive to Taki Skreptos. I think it'll nearly bring us up to half time. Michael Lovell turns the ball around, hits the post again. Oh God, he's hit the post three times today. And the referee calls half time, with the score being 17 to three. Great half from both sides. First 30, oh. is that it? So half time's been taken. Uh, the score is 17-3 to Glenorchy. Kick off by Blaine Doust. Uh, he's kicked it, hit the deck. Taken by Chase Scott. Glonky have made one. Glonky have made one change in the first half and at half time. And that would uh, was Jai Terry's come off. Jai Terry's came off for uh, Jesse Hasty. And Hobart have on the attack. Glonky won the ball, but but um, on the ground weren't there to secure the ball. And Hobart number seven has had stolen it. So. Great defence there by Glenorchy. Off to the off to the number eight. Good defence here. Attacking by attacking by Hobart five metres out. Good defence by Glenorchy. Recycle ball, pick and drive by Hobart as the rain starts to come tumbling down. Good defence. Good defence by Glenorchy. And a penalty here to Hobart. Sorry, to Glenorchy. And we have a touch judge. We have a touch judge report here. So I'm not quite sure what the report will be. As the rain tumbles down again here at Rugby Park. Touch those report here for, I can't quite see what, he's just called the Gronky captain out to have a talk to him in the red zone. I think he's just laying down the law and giving him a thing about, about uh, giving away and the penalty's been reversed here on touch those report. I'm not sure what it was for, but here we go. We have a five metres out, Hobart ball. And Casbolt's taken the ball in, and Glenorchy's a great defence, and they've held him up here. Now the ball's on the deck, so recycle ball here, pick and drive by Hobart. They're about a metre out, and half back to the 5 8. Offloads to the inside centre, who takes the ball. Good recovery there. The inside centre for Glorky landed on top of him, held his feet, he would have been able to re recycle the ball. Lost yardage here by Hobart, but they've still retained the ball. Pick and drive by the number eight. Great tackle there by the Glorky 5'8 in Harry Thomas. And Glorky re Hobart recycled the ball. Out to the number five, who tucks it under his arm and takes for a charge. And he's broken through the other side. And he's laid it back. So well done to that young bloke because he's been taken into touch. Recycle ball by Hobart again. They're on the attack. Up to the 5'8. Under the 27. Who goes back to where the ruck had just been. And he was and the ruck set up again by Hobart. So well done. Good ball retention here by Hobart. Pick and drive. Pick and drive again by the guys. And recycle ball again. Thank you. 
Pick and drive again, but they're going sideways, Hobart. And another pick and drive again. And they're going sideways again. Now they start to pile in. Here comes the cavalry from the Hobart. And an accidental offside from the pick and drive by Hobart. So it'll be a scrum here, 10 metres out, with Glenorchy ball. That's great defence by Glenorchy. Jay Scott in particular, three pick and drive tackles, drove them sideways, forced the error. So first set piece in the second half. 10 metres out. 10 metres out, Glenorchy feed. Let's see what uh, the coaches have spoke about at half time. Scrum's gone straight to ground. So the scrums have been good up until now, and now since they've had their break, uh, they've gone to a little bit of schmozzle at the moment. Let's hope the referee takes control, and we we'll get back to our, what was happening in the first half with the scrum resume was very, very good. Now oh, they've got it set. Yeah, good set, good drive. Ball's gone back, knocked on, the chip by the, there's a chip by Harry Thomas, but it's knocked on by, knocked backwards by the wing, who's recycled the ball. Hobart have the ball about 18 metres out, off to the 5'8", off to the hard running flanker. And recycled ball again, off to the number eight, who's on his own. Great tackle by the... Ill discipline again by Glenorchy. I think there might be a symbion here. There's too many penalties inside the red zone. Too many red zone. So that'll be the last warning, I reckon. Penalty, 12 metres, 12 or 13 metres out, almost directly in front. Hobart. And Blaine Douse is kicking to the sideline. I think they might have scored a try here. I think this might be a try here. No, they put it down. Well, that's a bit of uh, not knowledge. If they'd let that go dead, it would have been a scrum back for Glenorchy, back where he kicked it from. But now, because they forced the ball, it's now going to be... A scrum five metres out. I think that decision's wrong because it was put in the goal by Hobart. Rocky put the ball down. It should be a 22. That's a better scrum by Hobart. Right, the ball, scrum's gone down. Get the ball out. That's better. That's what we'd like to see. Well, the 5 8's gone down just as he's about to pass the ball. But Blaine Das cuts the ball back in the centres. Great ball carrying ball. Inside runner again by the number six. Good recycle ball by Hobart. Robbie Casbolt carts the ball up. Great defence by Glenorchy on that try line again. Glenorchy need to be Ill dis need to be disciplined here because they're on their last warning inside the red zone. Yep, here we go. Backline move, offload. And great ball work. Great sideline to sideline. Good defence there by Glenorchy. Recycle ball by Hobart here. And the referee stops the game here. I think there's too many there. So this will be a yellow card. This will be a yellow card for Glenorchy. Thank you. 
No, I reckon that's the final warning. I thought there might have been someone put in the bin there. I reckon that's Glenorchy's final warning. So line it here, five metres out. Hobart attacking. They've done all, had all the ball in the second half. Down in this bottom, inside the 22. Lane Dowse kicks for touch. Hobart have the line out. Five man line out. Let's see what they've got. Ball thrown to the back. Black hits the ground, ball hits the deck. And Glenorchy have won the ball. Turnover by Hobart. Did everything right. And pass by Harry Highland and Harrison Thomas finds touch. 22 metres out with a Hobart feed. Great work by the Stags in defence there. They must be, must be disciplined now, otherwise someone will go to the bin. And the unfortunate part is that there might be someone that's just given one away. But yet he'll go. Fundamental part of the game. Line out not thrown straight. It's great attacking position for Hobart there, but poor throw, not in straight, so scrum down, Glenorchy ball. Oh no, yes, there was a sin bin as Sia Tulava has been sent the hooker, the hooker for Hobart's been sent to the sin bin. So I've missed a couple of minutes there. So I've missed a couple of minutes there. So with the front row being sent to the field, um, Glenorchy must supply front row. So back onto the field comes Jai Terry and into the sin bin is the tight head prop, Sia Tualava. Yeah. So scrum down, Glenorchy man down for the next eight minutes. Scrums of Glenorchy and one out by Harry Holland. And Harrison Thomas puts a kick in again, but it finds the grass. And Ian Clack takes the ball. He's 30 metres out, but he's held up in the tackle. So no, they've gone to ground. And, a, good. and the ball has been thrown. Ball has been thrown forward by, by Hobart in the in the attempt to, to catch Glenorchy napping. So 40 metres out, defensive side for Glenorchy. Scrum to the Stags. So here we go, set piece, the rain starts to drop again. And a nice low kick by Harrison Thomas. Taken by Will Clack and offloads to the centre. And well, well brought back by the number five. And a kick over the top by the 5'8 to Jay Scott. And a nice back to the fullback. Great position, straight down his throat. As Hobart go wide, trying to catch Glonky napping out wide. And the tackle missed by Taki Streptos. And not by Poda. Hobart recycled the ball. And he's a nice kick downfield. And in goal. So it'll be a 22 by Glenorchy. 22 by Glenorchy. Get behind, Jesse! Hold up! So just a metre too long by the Hobart. Centre then when he put that kick through. It was a beautiful kick, good chase. 22 metre drop out by Glenorchy. And out on a full. Out on a full. So that'll be a scrum. Scrum or a line out, scrum or a line out option for Hobart. So they had the choice.
ball thrown to number two. Well taken. Offload ball off the top to the running 5'8". In comes a blindside winger, and Ian, Ian Clark, who takes the ball forward, who's been hurt up in the tackle. Well, he's hit the deck now. Bad luck, Harry. And knocked forward, knocked forward in, in the carry by Ian Clark. He made a lot of yardage there, but just, just lost the ball as he hit the deck. So there's five more minutes before the Sinbin man comes on. So Glenorchy have done well in defending 15 on 14. Oh no, it was a knock on Glenorchy in that. So it's a scrum to Hobart and it's a good drive by Hobart. Pick and picked up by the running, running halfback is, who's tackled and a great pop pass. As a great pop pass and Glenorchy have tackled and driven backwards Hobart. Good repelling, a recycle ball by Hobart. And here we go, good charging run. Good charging run, but he's been dealt with as well. Hobart, they've got a man overlap and they're choosing not to use him. We've got a winger out here with nobody on him. There's nobody. Now they've decided to send a wide. Now, oh no. The centre's been caught. Good recycle ball. The halfback's run and he's turned, hit the balls, hit the deck. Great tackle by Harry Thomas. On Ian Clack. Recycle ball here by Hobart. To a running out, Robbie Casbold, he makes a few metres. Good defence by Glenorchy as well. Good recycle ball by Hobart. They're on the attack. They've been on the attack for most of the half. And 5 8 to the outside centre to the winger. Who cuts back inside and he's going to score under the post. This is great work by, that was great work by Hobart. Good ball retention. Good ball retention by Hobart. And they've finally, uh, finally been rewarded for probably pretty much all the ball in the second half. So Glorky, Hobart score under the post. Uh, I couldn't see who was the scorer, uh, but the number 14 in Ian Clack scored the ball out 22 metres directly in front. Score is 17 8. And yes, he's popped it through the post. So it's 17 10. 17-10. Glenorchy need to do a little bit about this ball. They've had no ball in the second half. There's about a minute for the substitution uh, for the for the uh, yellow card to come back on. So Jai Cherry comes back off to it, to Sialava comes out of the bin and comes back on. And the blindside winger who was off the ground in Beta Maynard comes back onto the ground. And that's a nice kick taken by 25 and he carts it back straight back to the middle of the field. Good ball carry. Back. Got it. Finds it. Finds it, finds the turf. And great tackle by the fullback. That's great, great work by Robbie Casbolt. Tackled, hit to his feet and retained the ball. And that's a great kick. That's only lasted about five or six metres out. And that's well done. Good work by the Hobart side. 
but they made a substitution. Who? Hey. Okay. No. Because six wasn't. Did he start the game? I don't think he started the game, did he? More than that. Did he? Yeah, that's all right. I thought he'd just come off the yeah, bench, that's all right. I've only had 23 yep. off four. Yep. So here's Hobart, picking driving, 22 metres out. And again, they pick and drive, they come, they come left again by Elim. Elim. Or taken in by Welk. Recycled by the 5'8 from Hobart. And the captain Elliot cuts the ball up forward. Rocky recycled, sending the ball wide. Great defence, great offload there by the Hobart boys. And they attack down the blind side. Recycled ball again, they're on the attack again, Hobart. And unlucky there, he's knocked the ball on. Rocky re recycled the ball. Rocky need to try and retain some ball and work some, uh, work some magic. And it's a great kick. It's going to find the turf and it's going to roll. And a great tackle by Taki Skeptos. But there's no support for the Glenorchy boys. They're all standing back. He's made another 15 or 20 metres. Now he's been ragdoll. He's still not being held on the ground. Made 25 metres there. But no... There's a knock on by the second row of playing in the centres. Glock, you need to lift that. So Glock, you make their second substitution. Off comes Matty Bresden, and on goes Vaha Hafi. So Gronkie have the scrum. Off to their running centre. And they go down the left-hand side. And off to Aaron Lovell, who's great defensive tackle by... Vain... Zane... Sorry. Doust. Blaine Doust. Jeez, I got confused with his name then. And there's a nice long kick. And the fullback's well positioned, he's inside the 5'8, he's chose to run, and he's come back. He's come back and he's made almost back to where he's kicked the ball from. So well done by young Will Clack. His ball running is sensational. He knows how to evade. And goes back to the full goes back to the 5'8 again. He finds dirt again. And it's gonna stay inside the field of play. Great work, Mike. Great kick, Mike. Right, so, Lana here, 48 metres out to, to Hobart. Yeah! Did it change? Who's coming? So on to the, the Blonky Mac, the third change. Off comes Chris Rustin in the second row. On comes Lewis Thomas into the second row. Nice line out ball, ball taken by Brendan Elliott. Off to the 5'8. He's kicking for, kicking for field position. And off goes Taki Skreptos down the blind side. Who just runs over the top. And sometimes... Players need to learn how to just chip and chase. So there's a good 30 or 40 metres made by Taki Skreptos, but unfortunately the pass back, the blokes got taken, Blonky players got taken in a touch and line out ball. 30 metres out, Hobart defensive end.
So he's Aaron Lovell's taking the kick. Aaron Lovell's taking the kick and he's charged it back to the corner and a great one-arm tackle by, by Sia to a lover. Sorry, by Blaine Doust. Ball retention needs to be taken by Glenorchy. Offloaded by Sia to a lover. Charges onto the ball. He's 18 metres out, but there's no, no ball, no support there. Good clean out. Now we need to go. Good clean out by Sammy Cluck there. Glorky have, Glorky have got some ball and they're attacking at 18 metres out. Great clean out there by Jesse Hasty. Need to be need to be smart with the ball, Glorky. Need to be smart with the ball. Harry Highland off to Mickey Lovell. Charges into the line. Just loves contact, Michael Lovell. Just loves it. Good soccer ball, 10 metres out. Pick and drive by Chase Scott. It's gone towards the poles. Well done. Here we go. Now the pressure's on Hobart to make the defence, make the defensive line. Sia Tuolava goes over the top of the ruck. And Hobart, Hobart get a penalty out of that for not releasing. So Gorilki finally gets the ball in the attacking zone and holding on. No support for the clean out. Need to, need to get support on the clean out. And great kick by Blaine Doust. It's going to land on the, you know, the 40 metre, 40, 42 metre. 42 metres out. Twenty-six minutes into the second half. Score 17-10. Hobart have a line out 40 metres on their own half. One ball. Nice long kick. And great work by Baden Maynard. And the ball's hit the deck. The ball's hit the deck and it's made some yards. And they come back to the centre, the hard running centre has come back towards the field of play. It's been tackled but not put to ground. Look, you've got to put players on the ground. Great recycle ball here by Hobart. 40 metres out. Defensive end. Ball's going wide. And a knock on there by the final pass. So knock on here, 40 metres out, 35 metres out, Glenorchy attacking, Glenorchy feed, 15 metres in from touch. Let's see what they've got in their set piece. They haven't had much ball in the second half. They need to get on their wheels and start supporting their ball carrier. Good set piece again. And running half, running half out to the 5-8, out to the inside, and it's not a very good pass. Dived on by Harrison Thomas. Great work. Just a poor pass. Packed up. Great pick up by Aaron Lovell. Aaron Lovell's carted to the sideline. Got the full back up. And the centre. Aaron Lovells is a, not quite sure, Aaron Lovells in the corner here. Touch judge has got the say. And no, he hasn't scored. He's been taken into touch. Been taken into touch by the, so it's five metres out, Hobart ball. So 
So, on at one and kicked out by the 5 8. Line out ball to Hope to Glamorkey. About 35, 30, 32 metres out. Let's see that set, please. Glamorkey haven't had a line out for a long time. Let's see what they've got. It's been one way traffic with the line out ball for Hobart. Numbers in the line out there, and it was knocked on by a lean. So they've got the ball, spread it wide, out to the centre. The centre runs, and it's a good, good ball to the winger, who tries to run around the out, tries to run around the winger, and is bundled in the touch. Great defence there by Taki Skriptos, Aaron Lovell, and Poda. So ball not, ball not in straight, ball not in straight by Hobart. So number number one comes on to the field onto the blind side wing for Hobart. And Krupp comes off in the centres. So set piece, 35 metres out, Hobart ball. Good solid scrum, good platform, nice pass back to the centre. Who has a nice long kick. And it's a beautiful kick from 22 to 22 by, by Blaine's house, Blaine Douse. That's a great kick. Great meterage for them. Now let's see what they've got. So ball thrown up by, by Hobart and tapped by, tapped back by the So, touch finer, Blonky do a penalty there, touch finer by Blaine Doust. Just kicks it five or six metres out, 22 metres out. Substitution for Hobart again. The man that came off in the first half. Comes back onto the field and Morgan Macbeth comes off. Andy Creeps comes, takes the ball up. He's been held up in the tackle. Halim <laughs> Kalfan picks and drives by himself. Great, re great recycle the ball. Back to the 5 8. Running half onto the number 8. And Jonathan Elliott, deep, deep pass to the 5'8", after the running number, blind side wing, it comes on the opposite side of the ground. He's a hard run, he's got great leg drive, that young man. Halfback picks and runs across the ground. Hope Hobart lose a couple of yards there. And Aleem Kalfan comes on the angle, great, great line running there. 
Good pick, good pick by the half. And the passes are getting a little bit tired to the poor 5'8". Oh, it's Harrison Thomas misses an easy tackle on his running 5'8". Gork, you need to be disciplined here. Good ball retention by Hobart. And off the Robbie Casbolt. Oh. Back to Blindhouse, back to Will. He's running sideways. Passes to Ian Clack. How about losing ground? But Ian Clack only knows one way, and that's straight. Oh, and he loses the ball forward. Unlucky young man. Only person wants to run straight, and you knock the ball on when you get on the ground. Unlucky. Good defence there by Glenorchy. Krauss has gone inside centre, and Marty strokes as he's gone to the wing, and Glenorchy win the scrum, and a nice kick down the field by young Harry Thomas. Um, Will Clack's running from fullback has been sublime, and he's just brought it back to where he's just come from. Hobart, recycle the ball and go forward. Glonky at, Glonky at twos or threes at the moment. They don't know how to defend this uh, ball carrying by, by Hobart as the rain starts to get a little bit heavier. Glonky need to start. Glonky need to start working. Good work by Hobart. They're retraining, which they're just recycling and recycling. That's all they're doing. They're not making much ground, but they're just recycling. And Sammy Cluck takes a mark inside the 22, but doesn't call it, so it's play on. And here we go. Five more minutes to go. Now the ante's coming up. The pressure will start coming as the rain starts to come. Passes will start to be pushed. Hobart, seven points behind. Could we go into extra time? It's been a great defensive effort in the second half by Glenorchy, but great work by... Oh, and the number seven's... Gone through, but the ball is not straight. So, ball not in straight by Hobart. Scrum down, Glenorchy ball. About 14 or 15 metres out. 15 metres in from touch. Glenorchy need to be switched on. Hobart have had a plethora of ball in this half. But there's only been the one try scored. It's been a great, great Kicking, uh, great kicking by the by the ins or the outside centre now in Blaine Douse and the Hobart 58 will to pin Glonky back in their area. Um, they've played this well in the rain and a great scrum by great scrum by Hobart and it's a great clearing kick by 58 in Harry Thomas. Another 15 metres made line out here to Hobart, about 35 metres out attacking. They just seem to win these line outs at will. So let's see what Glenorchy can see if Glenorchy can get there and win one. Put a bit of pressure on them. Great ball. Great throwing well off the top. Running. And in comes Ian Clack again. Only knows one way. Oh, and he's turned the ball over again, young Ian Clack. But anyway. He's doing good work, young Ian Clack, but his just ball retention is not good. Only got one way to go, and he's going to go infield. Great running again by young Will Clack. He's been superb at fullback. His ball running back was. Up to the wheel. Offloads to 
Brendan Elliott, who offloads to Robbie Caswold, who's gone through a gaping hole. The ever-aging former Eastern Suburbs player now playing for Hobart. Good ball return. Hobart on the attack. Lockyer did repelling with defence. So scrum down. Knock on there by. Knock on there by Hobart, I think. Oh no, knock on by Glenorchy, so it's a scrum down to Glenorchy. Uh, to Hobart, I think. I can't work out what his hand signals are. So we've got a stoppage in play here with Sia Tualava down. Touch those report. Touch those report here from Michael Evans for I'm not sure what for. Uh, the referee offside by Glenorchy. So it's a penalty here to, Glenork uh, to Hobart. They are 22 metres out with Blaine Dow stepping up to put the ball in the corner. Once again, just a Almost a fundamental mistake by Blaine, but he's made, he's made touch five metres out. Glenorchy need to be switched on here. Hobart have been very, very good, almost 100% when the ball's thrown in straight. It's only a couple of minutes to go. Let's see what Hobart have got. Line out one, ball's down, he's gone to ground. Hobart have retained the ball, here we go. It's only a... Inside running. And knock on there by Hobart. Knock on there by Hobart. So here we go, scrum time. Must be almost the final play. Almost final set, knock on, knock on by Hobart, 18 metres out, scrum time, Hobart on the attack, they've had 99% of the ball in the second half, scrum down, Glenorchy ball. <laughs> Referee's called it in, he's set, he's not happy, he's brought him back up. That's it's a bit of time wasting, I don't know whether that's good work by Glenorchy or whether it's play time. But here we go, Glenorchy need to be switched on for one last time. And the, the referee's comfortable with the scrum. Here's Hobart. Can they put a scrum? Put, can they put it? And the ball's out. Ball's taken by. And there we have it. Grunorki lost in the first round to Hobart with a penalty kick almost at the end of the game. To lose 10-7 at the Hobart ground, they get a bit of a shellacking where they got beaten by 25 points. And today they've turned the table. So well done to Grunorki. Great season by Hobart. It's a great game of footy. Well refereed by Jimmy Ogden. Been around for a long, long time doing this job, so well done. Thank you to the referees, touch judges. If we don't have you guys, we don't have a game. As simple as that. Well done to the players. Congratulations to Hobart. Congratulations, Milwaukee. And uh, Milwaukee will take on either Devonport or Taruna. Over and out.